Hello. I know that some of us are self-isolating at the moment. We are in quarantine. Not me specifically, but a lot of people. And a lot of people are passing their time by being on their phone. Um, admittedly, I use apps on my phone. I use a lot to pass time which I'm assuming a lot of other people do as well so I'm going to show you what I have on my phone and maybe something that I don't have you are interested in you might be able to pass your time in quarantine, being bored and self-isolation by having a look at one of these apps so I have Samsung um, so I get my apps from the Play Store and they, they if you have an iPhone, I, I'm pretty sure you can get the same apps on Android, iPhone. I can't be sure for anything else because I've had Android for so many years. I've never had an iPhone. So I know you've got your own little Apple store. So I'm pretty sure you can get like the same apps. I don't know how many apps I have actually. I'm probably going to talk about four pages of apps. I might not go over, I might not go into detail about like common apps, but there are, there's some apps that I thought was quite common, but when I've mentioned them, some people are like, what's that? So I might do a brief description of that. And um, before we get into this, I'm just going to say, I don't have games on my phone anywhere at all I'm just not one of those people who play games on their phones and like literally every single person that I know correct me if I'm wrong but every single person that I know has games on their phones I don't know why I don't I think like if I was having a game on my phone it'd probably be Angry Birds I love that game <laughs> so this is the first screen from my apps Um, clearly I have YouTube be a bit weird if I didn't maps i absolutely love my maps i'm pretty sure these are the um apps that um are automatically come on with your phone if say like you get a new one uh, i must say just in case you hear some noise it's my snake banging on her terrarium so i have expedia up in the top left corner i'm not going to click on that because no actually let's go let's go i think i don't think i have anything on there seeing as of this thing yeah so um if you don't know what Expedia is like see where it says bundle deals yeah I'm planning a trip to Naples in the far future don't worry about it it's not anytime soon so you can look at hotels and flights and book a package deal I do that a lot I really love Expedia Um, you can book just flights you can book just hotels you can book things to do so like that's the last thing that i looked at let's just pick a random date um and then all these things come up showing you what you can do how long it takes the price it's pretty good i've used this they're not all this expensive by the way i've used this quite a few times for quite a few places so yes expedia is way up there then we have Etsy. A lot of people don't know about Etsy either. So let me show you my favourites. Look at this stuff. It's like very unique stuff I found on here. Like pins if you're if you're a lover of pins. And prints. Etsy. And then I have Facebook because that's quite a given. And Facebook will help us through these times by connecting to people that we need to connect to apart from you know like flight companies and stuff because that's just a nightmare right now i of course have ebay which is like obviously like a cheap version of etsy etsy is like the creative artistic friend and then ebay is like the thrift store friend which technically you could cross them over because i like being both of them but you get what i mean so i have skype on there um mainly to skype k because we have this christmas thing where we skype each other open each other's presents and that's pretty much the only time we see each other on skype and that's probably the only reason i have it yeah 
um translate google translate is so good i like don't even use it in a different country i just think oh what's that word again and have a little google translate and i'm like oh thought so imdb okay okay but i like a lot of people don't know what this is um yeah i was watching the hangover last night and i wanted to see something so that's why this is on basically right go back to the normal screen um right your screen will look like this on imdb like your home screen it's pretty good it's all about like films actors stuff let's say the hangover because i was talking about that um you can i think you can like look there you go you can like look at the pictures you see a little information about it if you've never seen it and you want to know what it's about kind of thing get your actors who are in it little clips yeah so i like referring to that insta collage i'm not gonna open it up for you to see like my whole gallery of just screenshots of receipts lately nope so insta collage is basically it's not even specifically for instagram okay but it's really good if you just want to do a little collage you know cute little printouts and stuff not like you can print out from the app but these cute little printed out collages that you see it's good for that mirror photo basically does what it says right there it actually does collages now so i'm not sure i need the collage and the mirror photo but a mirror photo say like you've got a photo and you want like a photo of you next to the photo of you like the same but backwards that kind of thing so you get to like play around on that i said you've got collages stickers all that stuff if you you know just fancy playing these boring times right as you see we're on to my third page or like my second page of chosen apps i have um let's mainly start with snapchat because yet again that's given if you're like in isolation snapchat each other that's cool um time hop it shows you your memories so if you don't know about that like for example a year ago look at me a little squirrel me surrounded by squirrels my little doggy with her doggies so yeah it shows you like what you was up to like so many years ago so look at Faro. <laughs> um top tags that has like um basically if you don't know what the tags to put on so like instagram tumblr twitter whatever it, it helps you out you can like search for like a little tag yourself so say like i'm putting up this video and i'm like hmm what should i look for like okay look for video and then under the category video we'll have like a load of tags that you can put on so um, top tags is cool for that uh visco v s c o so i call it visco i don't know how you actually pronounce it so visco that's um really good for filters i just mess about on it and yeah i really like the filters and that so i will highly advise that there is a free version on there by the way so you do not have to pay for the filters trip advisor i'm always on there let's have a look on there or you know not so pick up where you left off okay well i was looking at food in manchester there you go so you like click on them and they have reviews down here photos where it is see their reviews yeah it's quite helpful tripadvisor so i would advise that if you don't have that wordpress a little shout out to my blog there down dog okay i'll show you my screen at the moment there's my screen at the moment that is my yoga practice for tonight i do this at least once a week because i've got pole like roughly twice a week and then i jog a few times a week so you know a couple of times a week on average so it's that yoga pole jogging i'm mainly active like five times a week out of seven that's not bad so this is what my next practice would look like and i would highly advise this this is really good you really do get to like click about and 
everything on it is free. Sorry if you didn't hear me. Everything on it at the moment is free because of um, virus. And a lot of people are not being able to go out and do yoga. So they're letting everyone use anything on the app at the moment, which is really cool. PayPal, I'm not going to show you into that, but I would highly advise you getting that. Tumblr, just for art, basically. Bitmoji, I use that to update my little Snapchat character. Happy Cow, oh, okay. Happy Cow is really good, you know. Say, so, like, you're a vegan, let's just, you know, because I'm ignoring them before, uh, below, because I'm not going. Um, yeah, like, these are like, let, let's just click on vegan. They're all your vegan places in town. Town, Manchester, right? <laughs> I got interrupted by my mum, but I'm pretty sure you get the gist of this one by now. But yeah, veg opt-ins, vegetarian, ooh, filters. See? Look how cool this is. Any vegan food trucks about? So, yeah, it shows you what is near. Uh, and if you click on one, for example, you've got pictures there. Whereabouts is, opening hours, website, and reviews. So I would highly advise that if you're a vegan. So I have Snapseed there. Yeah, again, I'm not opening it up because it's a gallery thing. So you'll see all my recent screenshot receipts. Snapseed is good for like... A blur tool is it called blur? Oh, it's called healing it's called healing on it so it's really helpful to um get rid of say like an object in a picture you don't want there so i'll see if i've got any examples for you and put them on in a second the room to rio app you see there is like google maps but sometimes when google maps is just not making sense to me Rome to Rio helps simplify it and it also gives you how much it's going to be sometimes I've noticed Google Maps does that but yeah Rome to Rio if like Google Maps is confusing you Rome to Rio can be really helpful I use that in um Czech because I wanted to do a day trip out of um Prague and Google Maps was just not making that sense to me so I went on Rome to Rio and it completely simplified it. So it's it's a good like Google Maps backup there. Taste guard because I have a taste guard. Um, you don't need the app if you do not have a taste card. Okay, RBS, you're joking if you think I'm going to open that. Train pal because um that's where I get my train tickets from. And they like split the cost of your tickets. It's really good. I really advise that. And then Wish because, you know, cheap. Oh, go away. Oh my God, someone's selling toilet roll. I have Spotify because, let me show you my home. I think I've been listening to Elton John. Yeah, I was listening to Zombie EP last night because it's just so relatable right now. So go, go, have a listen to this if you fancy that. This is my, um, all oh, of Gaga's new song. That's my home right now. So yeah, I love my Spotify. Uh, Story Art. Story Art is really good. I like Story Art. So... You get to, it's like a little color. Yeah. So you get to create these. They're really good for Instagram.
I have a rail card because I have a rail card. I'm not showing you that because it's embarrassing. And then Netflix because I'm pretty sure we all know what Netflix is at the moment. Okay, so just these are little free prints app. I swear by that at the moment. Um, I'm sure some people use some other one, but I can't remember what it's called. But free prints is what it says. You get free prints. You get, let's say, 30 a month, because I can't remember what it is. So you get, like, 30 photographs sent to you a month of your choice, obviously. Like, you get the app, you upload your gallery, and you pick which pictures you want. And say, like, it's 30 of them. And you just pay for the posting and packaging, which is only a couple of pounds. And then they're there within 10 days at your house like good quality photographs from your gallery i swear by it so good so i have the sas app let's not talk about that at the moment i have whatsapp app <laughs> i have whatsapp um because we have a family group conversation on there and that's pretty much the only reason i have that i have waterstones on there because ugh, i like books and you can just buy them straight from the app. Okay, so it's a little bit dangerous, but yeah, how cool is that? So, if you like your books, ooh, get off. If you like your books, I advise Watson's. I love Watson's. I also love antique bookstores, so I'm not bookstore biased. I do like a good secondhand book. Also, Instagram, because yeah and instagram's really cool right now with um positivity in this negative time i have a crop and trim video which is does what it says and i find that really cool and ignore that last one i've not used it yet so i don't know what it's like and i'm aware that it says asl not bsl but you know what i tried bsl and it wouldn't stick in so I'm going for ASL, not like that will stick in, but you never know. So if you're still with me after all that, congratulations. <laughs> if there is an app on there that you'd like to try out or you want to know more about, you can ask me or just go for it and comment down below which one you're going to go for. And if there is apps that are keeping you well right now, comment them down below. They might help me, they might help other people. Let's be a good community right now. I wish you well. Goodbye, witches.